take a look right here. Our uh, class last night, they got pretty far. I love uh, seeing all this done. They're gonna put on sheeting today and, and then start building their, in, their walls. They are right on schedule, moving along. It's exciting. We have this schedule and we're really trying to stick to this schedule and things are progressing. So uh, we are definitely in a different spot than we were six months ago. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, in most cases, they got a half foot more of space <laughs> between the buildings, but some spaces are a little larger than that. But even with that, the maneuverability has decreased from what we had over there just because of the amount of people we have, the amount of build we have, and it's, it's really challenging their spatial ability, but they're doing well at it. So things are tight and we don't have a lot of storage space so we have deliveries coming as we need them but even with that it's 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 giving us a difficult situation to just kind of organize and manipulate and move for example you look at this steel rod going all the way through uh, our suppliers here in town no one else has anymore so we're ordering from new york we can put those in later they don't have to go in right now but they're on their way from New York because we don't have suppliers here that can get us the materials we need. So we have a general uh, calendar or schedule for production and to be able to stay on schedule and so as we run into hiccups, the Friday, uh, we ran into not having enough uh, three quarter inch plywood. So they started working on the next step, prepping their glue lamb beams so that they could be ready to put them up in the morning. Uh, we, and, and then some of us had not have all our glue lamb beams. So we're gonna work on uh, the next step that we can do to prep things and just get them ready. So we're trying to be flexible. Our windows aren't coming in for another two weeks. And so they're supposed to go in next week. Well, we can't do that. We're gonna have to wait on that. So we're gonna find other things to do, pause that portion, do most of the other stuff. And then when our windows get in, we'll finish up and, and get through that. So we're just trying to be adaptable and flexible. And really when it comes to construction, that happens with most construction jobs. This one's a little different because we're, we really have to stick to a schedule to be able to have this instruction happen when it needs to happen. And so we're trying to trying to make sure we're still moving forward while we run into supply chain issues. Yeah, so push it up from the bottom. So really, if you look at this, this one here specifically, it's not like the others inside. And the reason is if you look at the base, we have it propped up a lot higher. We have to have it level. So this has to be level out here. If it was not, if we just put a, the same blocking that we have down there at the other end, then this thing would be tilted out. But because we, we want this to be solid and sound, we're leveling it, we're getting it where it needs to be. So now everything's plumb, everything's level, and it's looking really good. They got their, we have the blue tarp on because right now it's a monsoon season. So we have rain come in the afternoons and we just don't want the houses to be ruined. Uh, the rain can really swell our plywood and, and uh, as soon as we can, we'll get it covered up so that we can't uh, have the rain on it. But this, this house is really where they should be today. Today they're going to finish sheathing and then they're going to start on their walls. So this this house is, is really on schedule. Yeah. 
So right up here, we're going ahead and putting in our last blue lamb bean. Actually, our second to last. This is the butt end of the wall that ties it together. And uh, this is critical to keeping the structure square, critical to the support of the walls. And uh, they're working to get this installed correctly. So right now we got Rick working the lift. They're up there managing, making sure they can get that in. Yeah, the confidence of the students is there. They're not getting frustrated because number one, that a lot of them come in without construction experience. So they don't have the schedule. They don't know what exactly is next. This first build, we're really just saying, this is the next, this is next, this is next, right? So then when we get to the second build, that's where they're gonna see, okay. And now we're making some adaptions and changes. So they're, they're gonna experience this, but that confidence in them, they're just really good coming in and doing those things that need to be done. flexible, thinking outside the box, and uh, working around the obstacles, that's a life lesson. That's not just a construction lesson, that's a life lesson. And so this will apply in any situation. You think about realtors, they run into obstacles all the time. You think about doctors, they hit different snags at different times. Whatever profession, lawyers, as they were doing cases, different things come up and you have to be able to be able to pivot and move in a different direction, work on it, still accomplish what you need to do. And so this is really a real life application. I just feel really good at where we're at. Things are really progressing and some of them are a little behind schedule, but they're gonna work hard and they're gonna catch up and it'll be all good. Thank you.